Engineer 775 here showing you the latest gizmo. Having a lot of fun with this one. I just fired it up. I couldn't wait any longer. What in the world's going on here? A lot of different uh, processes going on. Let me try to explain to you what I'm trying to do. I'm wanting to use heat, wood, biomass to charge batteries. So this is a battery charging system. And uh, what am I talking about? Uh, it's been a while since I posted a video and I need to get back at it. So I've got a deep cycle battery. Let's work it from this end. I want to charge this battery. It was at 12.4 uh, volts and I want to charge it up to about 12.8. And uh, I'm going to be charging it using the energy from a wood gas camp stove. You've seen me use these before and this thing's putting out heat. It's incredibly hot. What do I have sitting on here is a thermal electric generator. There are four very thin thermal electric generators. One, two, three, four sandwiched in between that heat block and then this top. There is a fan that is blowing hot air to keep this cool on one side. The greater the temperature change, the greater the delta T, the more DC vol um, voltage that this makes. It's, uh, heat resistant cable that comes over here to this charging box. You can see you got a 12 volt cigarette lighter connector. I'm actually folks charging my cell phone out here in my shop off of let's see let me see if I can prove this to you. Let's see here. Let's check uh, I'm checking my email. There is a this is a droid right where that red dot is you'll see that it's charging. Okay. It's actually a charging symbol here. I'm going to unplug the charger and it went back to red. Please connect charger. I'm going to connect the charger. I just connected the charger. Forgive me for that bad video. And it's green again. So I am charging my cell phone off of wood. I am also charging this deep cycle battery. And I'm going to put these... I need somebody to help me film this. Um, I'm going to put this probe in here on DC volts and I am reading 12.6, 12.7 volts. It was 12.4 like I said in the beginning of the video and we are putting energy into the battery from the thermoelectric generator. Is this cool or what? Um, you could place this on top of your wood stove, charge a battery, to run an inverter. You could run an uh, inverter say like this and to run your wood stove fan. Some, a lot of you have wood stoves that have fans on them and or need to have fans running. This would be a closed loop for you or you could set this on top of the wood stove. It does two things. It's moving some of the heat from the wood stove away from the wood stove but it's also the main purpose is to charge batteries. You could use that battery for whatever system. You could use it for keeping your refrigerator cold, for running some lights, communications, uh, you name it. But it's a neat little charging port. It's got three 12 volt cigarette lighter style uh, ports and a USB port to charge the cell phone. So it's, it's beyond cool. Um, I guess that's it. You might have some questions about this and um, Thermoelectric generators um, can be run in reverse to produce cooling. We're running it as a Seebeck effect, and that means it's uh, producing voltage by applying heat to one side as the heat flows through the semiconductor from hot to cold. It produces a voltage, a DC voltage, and we are charging batteries with that voltage. So, way cool. Yeah, we're sitting right here at. Uh, 12.6, 12.7. I reloaded it with wood. I got some um, cutoffs. I put three of these chunks of maple. They're cabinet shop cutoffs, and um, I just they just started to burn to gasify. You see the flame coming out underneath, so we're we're getting there. The tag doesn't fit exactly flat on the griddle, so that might be not the most optimal heat transfer. Um, fan hasn't started to spin yet. So, not making electricity yet. So, got to come up to speed here. 
Now I can put the tag directly on the flame. I'm just kind of nervous about that. I just got this, so I wanted to do an indirect, kind of simulating the top of a, a wood cook stove per se. Um, and, and so fan is, see the fan just starting to move? There it goes. We're up to temperature. Okay, I wanted to show you that I am making some voltage off of this. Again, I plugged into the cigarette lighter side. Coming around here, see what we get for voltage. There you have it. 14.7 volts. I'm taking the connector away there. Zero. We're making 14.7 volts. We can definitely charge the battery on that, can't we? And so I'm going to plug in my cell phone. As the battery is cooked on that, it says connect your charger. All right, let's plug in. Let's see, I got a red light on my phone. And now I have a green light. I know that's blurry, but it is charging. You see the light up there next to that laser dot is charging, and down to here is green is charging. So you saw the 14.7 volts on the clamp meter, and now my phone is, is charging. I put in uh, three pieces of maple this size in the wood gasifier. So they're being gasified right now. And we're still making, let me put that meter back on here to show you that the meter reads zero, and now it reads, let's see, 14.7 volts. So we are charging, we're making DC voltage off of wood. So it can be done, folks. So I'm out here in the shop and I need to charge my battery, grid's down, whatever. I need to charge this battery for a bigger battery for refrigerator, CPAP, machines, oh, you name it, some lights. I can do it. Now I like my son solar charger, and I have those. But uh, on those cloudy days, maybe this is the way to go. So, having fun playing with the new gizmo. Got any questions, let me know. But there you see the flame. Um, 12,000 BTUs out of a wood gas camp stove with a thermal electric generator sitting on top. Fan is spinning, getting rid of some of that heat. The more heat it gets rid of, the better it performs. This thermally protected wire into a box. This box has a capacitor in it. So that even when the fire dies down, I got about two hours of charging power out of the, that capacitor. Got three ports here, so you could plug in a lot of things, and, um, and then you could obviously invert from your battery if you wanted to just set that up. And so you could go from wood to tag to charger to battery to inverter to your appliances. Seem complicated? Maybe, but it's a great backup.